Hello friends, this is Preeti Garg from Biani Group of Colleges. I am working here as an assistant professor in IT department. Here, I welcome you all on the behalf of www.gurukpo.com. Now, here the topic today is networking. If I talk networking in journal terms, this is the connection of two or more people so that we can share our ideas, our thoughts. Same here in the field of IT, the networking means connection of two or more devices. Now these devices are not compulsory, that can be computers. It can be a printer, it can be a Bluetooth, it can be a hard drive or it can be any system, ABC, the system which is capable of sending or receiving data. That is called a device. Now here I have shown you an example of network. These are the three computers which are connected with each other. Now this process is called the networking. Now uh, in networking, uh, how we talk to each other, it depends upon the three types. First is simplex mode, second is half duplex mode and third is full duplex mode. It's just only how the messages are transmitted. First the simplex mode, it means that either the sender or either the receiver can only one of the, uh, either only one is able to send the message. Here, the, if the sender is uh, sending the message, then receiver is only receiving. The receiver is not able to reply again. For example, keyboard or our monitor. Second one is half duplex mode. In half duplex mode, both the sender and the receiver can send the messages, but only one at a time, not simultaneous. For example, walkie-talkie. Like if we see, hand, uh, we have seen on the airport, the one person said over, then only the other person will able to say anything. Now the third is full duplex mode. Same as like half duplex mode, only the difference is sending and receiver is capable simultaneously. For example, if I talk about the telephone, like if I am talking on the telephone, the other the person on the other side is able to reply me on the same time. Now. In networking, when the sender or the receiver is communicating, there are the five components which are involving in the communication. First is the message, sender, receiver, transmission medium and the protocol. Message, as we all know, is just the information uh, that the sender is sending to the receiver. Sender, who is sending the message? Receiver, who is uh, receiving the message? Transmission medium. Now, here the important parts come, transmission medium. Transmission medium means through which the message travels, the path. Like if we are walking on the road, then road is the transmission medium. Here similarly, what is the transmission medium through which our uh, data travels between sender to receiver. Now the protocol. Protocols uh, is just a set of rules and regulations that both the parties are agree on a common rule ki yes, in this way we are going to communicate. Now the fourth part of networking is topology. Topology is just nothing but the how the computers are connected in a network, how they are um, the how they are sitting or how they are communicating in a network that is called the topology. That is the arrangement of physical devices in a network. Now here we have the four types of topology. First is mesh topology, second is star topology, third is burst topology, and the fourth is ring topology. Mass topology, here the devices are connected with each other, means if we have the six devices in a network, then each six devices are connected with each other. For example, here I have taken the three systems, A, B and C, and these three devices are connected with each other. So how many links or how many these wires we need is depends upon the formula N, N minus 1 divided by 2. For example, we have the three wires here, then three into 2 divided by 2 so we need only the 3 wires here the advantage is there is a dedicated link that is the capacity is only between two devices that is the sender and the receiver no other third person is able to interrupt but uh, another advantage is fault isolation every link is going to carry their data but the disadvantage is we need more number of wires or the transmission medium through which the data travels now the second one is the star topology, here uh, we have a central, uh, here is a parent or child relationship or should I say parent and the child relationship, here is a central controller hub, all the computers are connected with this hub only. Now the advantage is comparison to mesh topology, we need less number of wires but here the whole system is dependent on the central hub. If the central hub is going to disturb or corrupt, then the whole system will get 
corrupted. Third one is the bus topology. In the bus topology, we have a common link through which all the other devices are connected. For example, there are the two components, drop lines and the tap. Drop line is just the communication between or is the link between our system and this link. And the tap line is just the connector. So, here the advantage is there is a common link. But the disadvantage is as the signal carries more and more that signal or the energy is transform, transformed into heat so our signals is going to weak so that is the disadvantage and the fourth one is the ring topology here in the ring topology all the systems are connected with their corresponding devices means each device has a dedicated link with either of the two devices corresponding to each other but here the advantage is direction is unidirectional but the disadvantage is if uh, any of the links is disturbed then the whole system will going to corrupt as our uh, as our direction is unidirectional thank you thank you and thank you for more details log on to www.gurukpo.com